love you guys so this is going to be a voiceover today you guys so this is like the third time for me working with julia hair and this is another lace front wig which is a 13 by 4 24 inch brazilian straight okay with highlighted ombre colors so i went ahead and i did bleach the knots on it and i also did sew me in a elastic band y'all so i'm gonna just jump right into this with you guys we're gonna see how that wig comes straight out the box from julia are we hair. lost are we not are we real are we turning to dust do you feel what i feel you guys so like i was saying it's a voiceover and i did leave the bleach on for like 45 minutes it was really easy to bleach it does look a little lighter in that one spot in the middle and that is not the actual wig it's the actual wig cap that i have on underneath it so you can see like the line of demarcation it kind of was like slipping back but anyway so it's a 13 by 4 150 percent density 24 inches you guys and i like the color it's really pretty it's a very rich color auburn in person and I'm just going to go ahead and cut the lace, you know, the normal thing. Now, I don't believe this is HD. Um, it's supposed to be kind of like pre-plugged when you receive it, which it was semi kind of like. But, you know, I did go in and pre-plug it more just to allow it to look more natural. And sometimes the wig is a little bit too big on the side. So I'm just going to cut off the excess lace that's over flapping my ear. Even if it's got hair on it, I'm cutting it off, y'all, because it's just going to fit proper if I do. I like these scissors. I love, I like these scissors a lot. They're called um, threading snips or snip threads or threading snips. My mommy gave them to me when she was here and I like them. They make cutting a lot easier because you don't have to just keep going back in and it's just a lot easier. You can look them up on Amazon. They're really cheap. You can get them for like four or five dollars. But so yes, yeah, Julia Hair. I've worked with them several times before. I think I did a video like a month ago for them. I'll make sure to link it below. I do like this hair color. You know, I love me like a pretty blonde, but it definitely has to have some type of highlights in it because I don't like blonde blonde. I need some type of color dimension in it. Though I will wear a platinum blonde wig once in a blue moon, okay? So y'all know what I normally do is just spray some hairspray on my lace to make it adhere, you know, to allow the wig to sit properly, hold down. You can use this wig spray, it works great. You can get probably like on a good day, maybe like three days hold. Normally I can get like a good three day hold depending on, you know, if I'm having hot flashes or not in the middle of the night, but normally like a three day hold. I don't really sleep with my wigs on anymore because girl, I begin too hot at night. So I don't sleep with them on. But it was super easy to bleach. Um, I left it on I think for like 40 minutes and I used the 30 volume developer on it. 
and the BW2 bleach. I think it's called BW2, right? Or B2W. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. And I get all of my grooming supplies or hair supplies off of Amazon now. I don't really go to the beauty supply store anymore because Amazon is just much easier, cheaper. When I say cheaper, whenever I go in a beauty supply store, I am buying stuff that I don't need, like jewelry, headbands, all kind of stuff that I don't need. So Amazon is much, much safer for me. So right there, I was just cutting and prepping my flyaway hairs, baby hairs or whatever, because you will need to kind of like camouflage some of the lace if you choose to. A step is optional, girl. You don't have to. But I'm going to just wing it and I'm going to make this wig look as natural and as cute as possible because I'm really feeling the color a lot. And as far as the lace, like it's not transparent, but it's pretty darn decent. I will give them that. The lace is pretty darn decent. And you can see by the edges, it, just, it did come out really nice. Prior to the video, I did, um, you know, wash it, of course, but I did use the hot comb on it to press it on my mannequin head, my canvas mannequin head. I think that press, if you get you a mannequin head, a canvas block mannequin head, pressing the wig with the hot comb will make your life so much easier versus doing it on yourself. Like nobody wants to walk around with burn marks all on the hairline. And as you guys know, I use the Dollar Tree Styling Mousse, which is called Salon Selective. It's an amazing mousse. It does not leave your hair hard and crunchy. And that's what I like. And then I'm just going to take this elastic band that I have sewn together to hold my hairs down in place while I style and profile this unit. Now, even though I did press it on the mannequin head, I'm going to do a little extra on myself. Now, thank goodness I have that elastic band to protect my hairline because trust me when I tell you, this thing gets pretty darn hot and I did get the hot comb from Amazon too. But you can also get it from Walmart. The baby hairs came out really cute. The wig is cute. I I'm going to give it to Julia hair. The wig is very pretty. The color is so subtle and just the hair is soft still. It's not dry. I really do think that the wig came out nice. And they go up to, I think, either 24 or 26 inches. I'll definitely leave their information below for you girls because they always have affordable wigs. Depending on the length that you choose, you got to keep that in mind. The longer the length, the longer the price tag. So I'll leave all the information down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of this voiceover. And on that note, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs the video up. Let me know what you think. And of course, I will see you guys in the next video. And big shout out to my son for this amazing t-shirt for Valentine's Day. Y'all know I love me a good graphic tee, okay? Yes, love them. Check out Julia Hair. I'll post the information below.